sorry, I couldn't get it any uh, clearer for you there. But yeah, it appears that this spider has just caught some prey. Nice, cool little addition to the video. But yeah, this one doesn't have the focus that my Fuji has, where it can like really zero in. But at least I don't have to refocus it because, like with my Fuji film, it would be all blurry if I started filming up close. This is a 2006 Bryant Evolution 3 ton, 2 stage heat pump. So it has a 2 stage Copeland scroll compressor in it. And this is like one of the quietest freaking heat pumps I've ever, I've ever uh, heard. Air conditioners or heat pumps seem to be dying left and right in this neighborhood though. That is a big ass spider. Really nice unit. It's a little weather beaten, but good install. Yeah, that is amazingly quiet. That, that's quieter than my friend's Bryant heat pump. Though I think the cooling capacity, the size of the uh, unit has an effect on that. Yeah, it is 820, approximately 8.21 p.m. on Monday, July 23rd, 2012. This house still has the propane backup heat hooked up with a, uh, I believe it's a Trianco propane boiler like my grandma's house. This one still has the boiler in the basement, but I don't know how many people remember this, but the, the, the propane heater was disconnected and this is solely an electric house now. It's just a train heat pump with electric backup heat, so there's no propane. So this house is all electric now. This one still retains the propane heat, so this has propane backup for when it's too cold for the heat pump to work efficiently, if the heat pump fails, or if it's going into defrost. So this house is still propane backup. This middle house, which also happens to be my grandmother's former home, has electric heat. Yeah, my grandmother lived here for about five years, and then she liked the neighborhood so, so much that she came back several years later and bought another house here. And I think the Goodman might be on now. And my grandmother has a thermostat set to like 74 degrees right now. It's very nice in the house. It's probably about 77, 78 right now. Or no, the Goodman ain't running. The Goodman is not running. Yeah, there's the Goodman. The one that started it all. Not running. Goodman, 2004 Goodman, three and a half ton, 10 sear heat pump with a Copeland reciprocating compressor. I'm amazed it has, I, I am absolutely amazed that thing has held up this long. Especially when we've got Yorks and Bryants crapping out all over the neighborhood and that Goodman stole around. I do not think the Stealth is running. Yeah, the Stealth isn't running. The York Stealth. That's a four-ton York heat pump right there. Have permission to film that one whenever I want. The one back there is a 2007 three-ton Goodman heat pump. I do not know the owners of this house. I used to film this all the time when there was no one living in the house and it was kind of sitting vacant. But now that there's someone living in here, I can't just walk up and film that one like I used to. That's a four-ton York heat pump right there. That is a three-ton Goodman heat pump right there that you hear running. There's like a whole smorgasbord, for lack of a, a better term, there's like a whole smorgasbord of different heat pumps to film here. Though everyone seems to be getting trained these days. But yeah, another one bites the dust. There is the Lennox Elite again. 
good unit in my opinion. My barber has that exact same unit, but I believe it's a slightly smaller cooling capacity. All right, let's see if we can find anything else interesting around here. Do my usual rounds of the uh, neighborhood. Go back in the house. I'm starting to get bitten by the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. All right, there's that base model of York right there. Not running. Um, there's a York Affinity back there. Nice unit. I, I'm surprised that that 2S failed. Something has turned on back here. We have a train, I believe an XL15i over there. And somewhere hidden back there is a Goodman heat pump. So the train is for the house on the end, the Goodman's for the house in the middle, and that York over there is for the house on the other end. And I've seen only two or three houses up here that have been converted to cool zone. And there's another really big Goodman right there. And then the train XL15i that I did a video of in heat mode last Thanksgiving is right across the street over there. But I mean, it's pretty much, the, aside from a slight, from a one ton difference in cooling and heating capacity, it's pretty much the same unit as the one over here that I just filmed in cool mode. So I got one XL15i in heat mode back over there, and one XL15i in, or yeah, one XL15i in heat mode over there, and then the one XL15i in cool mode over here. I might just do a two-part series on this. Don't feel like uploading one 14-minute long video. All right. And then the 06 Bryant 5-ton 13-seer heat pump that I made a video of, like last year, is on the other end of the neighborhood. And that is like one of the most common air conditioners and heat pumps in the area, so there's like no point in filming that unless, it, unless it's defrosting or something. But yeah, all right. 2011 Train XL15i, four ton heat pump right here. Um, I got one hell of a haul today. One hell of an HVAC haul. I think the Goodman might have kicked on now. No, that's not the Goodman, I would have been able to hear the Goodman. Oh six, Brian's off. And this is February 2011. And this was installed sometime in the summer of 11. Alright. That just grins. Let's go around the other side, get the XL20i label so you don't forget what this unit is and just what it's capable of. That one is a three ton. All right. Lots of emergency sirens. All right. Oh, that's an ambulance. Couldn't tell what area it was from. Don't know if it's a local ambulance or one of those private ambulance companies. All right, and I will close out with a shot of the Goodman. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.